Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is the thing, the ultimate MacReady station survival. This is the version with the flamethrower. I, when I saw the first one, I was like, oh, I've got to have that, it's MacReady, it's, it's the thing, it's one of my favourite movies. I have a lot of favourite movies. Um, I need the figure, but then, uh, I, us in the UK, we, we took far too long to get it, we, I don't even... Do you guys know if we can get this over here yet? Uh, no. I've been told it could be January, February before we get the first version. So this is the second version. Um, I kind of wanted this more, so I, I saw it on AliExpress. I picked it up. As you can see, it did, it did get a little bit of a dink in the side of the box, but oh well. So the thing, the Ultimate McCready on that side, on the back we have the thing. In the winter of 1982, a 12-man research team at a remote Antarctic research station discovers an alien bird in the snow for over a hundred thousand years. Once unfrozen, the form-changing form alien wreaks havoc, creating terror, and becomes one of them. That's kind of the bit that's got me the most excited, because you get the, the blood effect thing. The blood effect thing thing of the thing. <laughs> Let's see how many times I use the word the thing or thing in this video. Right, it has the old, I need to say blue tack, velcro sealing on that. There's the photograph, there is the figure. I don't know whether that looks more like Chris Christopherson than Kurt Russell, but anyway. We have flamethrower effect, hands, flamethrower, all the bits in there, and the two heads. Um, like I say, the other one has the hat and stuff, which I, I would rather have had a flamethrower than a hat. I do have the other one on order from a UK supplier, and like I say, that will probably be far too late for anybody to be interested in me doing a review of. But anyway, there we go. Right, let's pop this open. There we go. Yeah, The Thing, one of those great films that... See, I think it's a great film because it has the practical effects in it. Practical effects to me look a lot better. I do like the... I will admit, I do like the prequel. I, I enjoy it, but I would rather have seen it with um, practical effects. There is the backdrop behind, which is the... Well, it's a sofa. Or a couch. And I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this couch. Right, so we have the gun, uh, ice pick, the blood effect thing there, the wire, and the petri dish, and the dynamite. Hmm, oh, very nice. They are all held in with the uh, black cable ties. So, just give me a moment to clip all these cable ties, and I'll be back. Okay, so that is the creedy out of box. They always have the feet wonky. It takes me five minutes to straighten the feet and stuff out. There we go. Right, we've got the feet kind of straight now. I kind of like it. The mat on the uh, the pants is pretty good. The holster will take the gun, so we'll put the pistol in it in a bit. Boots are nice. They've got a sort of a semi sheen to them. The lightness is is there. Um, I know it's him but like I say it does have a little bit of and a bit of the, the big Lebowski in there a little bit of Chris Christopherson and the big Lebowski yeah bullets on his belt hmm lots of zips which are all nicely painted yeah I said the, the lightness is, is reasonably there. There's the other head. Which I don't think I'll probably use. The face is a separate piece. That's like a rubbery overlay glued on. I didn't see there. Look, it's kind of loose. So, yeah. The flamethrower. Let's look at that. So that is 
Now I used to have a model kit of this and that bit was always getting broken because it was a resin model kit. It was really fragile. I still have it somewhere. There's the straps and things. That's going to be an interesting thing to see how we get them onto him. So I can't see any release is on there and that's probably something you don't want to snap off so I'm thinking maybe his arms come off hmm. so you don't really get instructions let me just check in the box no, no instructions in the box on how to do it so I'm guessing that it's going to be a I did the Michael Myers the other day and, uh, the Dr Loom was to take his cut off you pull his arms off and put other arms on so I'm guessing it's probably going to be that now one of the things that I was really looking forward to with this um, was the blood effect and as you can see I can get that in focus it does say Parma spoilers God, if you're watching this you've seen the film and then there is the the blood effect Now, it is supposed to plug into that somehow. Turn around. Let's see if, because there's a hand. Now, this is the hand that is made to hold the uh, Petri dish. The container, what's got the blood in it. So that goes like that. Right, so the fingers, all right, that's how it works. So the fingers will actually hold the blood effect in. That's good to. That's pretty sturdy. I did it over there because it drops on the floor now and I may never find it again. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy. Cool. There is also the wire effect bit, which the wire that he's using, which has a little bit of wire sticking out on it. And the dynamite so let's have a look and see how we can um, can we do it that way maybe we can with a little bit of selective mending and shaping or we could just just give me a moment No, it doesn't feel like the gloves come off. Oh, uh, the arms come off. The gloves come off, though. So that's made the arm a little bit shorter. So if we do that, that through there, and maybe put that down there like that, and ow, that's my fingernail. There we go. I will say be careful with it. <laughs> Guess what that's gone through there. Um, twice, would you believe? There we go. Cool, right, that's sitting pretty nicely on his back. And doesn't have too much effect on um, on how he stands. The glove that I took off also has um, a sleeve on it, which is detached, which is pretty clever. That means that you know the bigger glove can go on it. Oh, so that will be that hand. <laughs> Let me just. Off. So that goes in there, and that goes in on top of it. I think a tiny little bit of PVA glue may be required just to hold that in there. 
I'm going to need out of the hands. Which one is the trigger finger? I don't know that one. That one, yeah. Right, so we have that which is more of a trigger finger kind of thing. That's going to keep falling off, so we'll put that on when we've finally finished messing about with all of this. That's falling out as well. And this is going to be a figure that you're going to stand on your shelf, isn't it? In one pose and then leave it like that forever. It's going to be like that. You see, he wouldn't have the flamethrower, he'd have the wire in his hand, wouldn't he? Because that's so. It's the one that looks like it's for holding the wire. You've got to think of these things, haven't you? I think that's the wire holding one, because it's a nice round open palm. Right. Maybe too open. Okay, let's try some of the other hands. I'm trying not to break that off. the wrong hand because that's the other side. That one's far too close so it must be that one. Let's have a look. Yeah I think it's that one. So it depends. If you want to stand it, obviously, with the flamethrower on. It's going to be that other one. And that fits kind of in there. And then that goes. Like that. So, yeah, that's kind of... It's kind of the effect, that's kind of what you're looking for, I guess, if you're doing the flame effect, the flame effect, the blood spurty effect kind of thing. I'll just throw that in there as well. That's the old McFarlane um, spider head from all those years ago, which has been sat on my shelf. I do have a life size version of this. I'll put a link somewhere you can go have a look at that but yeah that is the spider head yeah i kind of like that i think that's how i'm probably gonna i'll probably put a bit of pva glue on that because pva glue is pretty easy to pick back off again when it's dried um yeah i'm kind of reasonably impressed um let's just see how tall is he, he comes in at about 18 centimeters or just a little bit over seven inches I guess that is kind of a nice effect it looks pretty cool I mean there are little bits in here that are obviously made for the uh, the carpet monster to eat yeah I mean it's got the usual amount of articulation for these let's just do a quick take these off articulation check so that once you've got it on is kind of loose you tuck it around everywhere the elbow joints go to about there it's the usual articulation for the elbow up and around there's a swivel in the middle there there is nothing around this area because that is a hard shell body up and down that way usual stuff knees not a butt kicker it doesn't really need to be. There is swivel in the knee as well and ankle pivot and also to the side so you can action pose him that little bit more than you maybe want to but yeah 
I guess the choice is do you stand him just stood with like the flamethrower in his hand and the dynamite in the other like but then he should be covered in snow but that's then why he put I guess that head on yeah I, I think I'm I think I'm gonna go with the blood effect it's the main reason that I bought this figure in this style so yeah I like it I'd, like I said we have it takes a long time for us to get figures over here in the UK uh, so I do buy from AliExpress because they get them a little earlier and they are genuine they are legit because they're just distributed by different companies all over the world so yeah I, I, maybe I should do a video about it about the distribution of action figures could be an interesting video if you want it make a comment at the bottom yeah I I like it I think this is a figure that I've waited a long time for like the the Kessler werewolf and I did see the other day that they're doing a Robocop which looks fantastic so that will be on my list to get yeah that is like I say Necker Bravo you are bringing out figures that we have waited a long time you know like a long long time for and this is another one of them and it's gonna look great stood on my shelf like that I'm gonna obviously make sure his feet are flat which they are now yeah that is definitely a nice figure I'm impressed so yeah thanks for watching guys um, if you're new here hit that subscribe button huge huge help to the channel um, thank you to all of you that have subscribed it's 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 really helping um, I've had a few really successful videos lately that, like I said the Kessler Wolf uh, the Dr Loomis Halloween 2 Dr Loomis and Michael um, and a few others yeah they've been really successful so thank you for watching if you are like I say one of those people that hasn't subscribed it would really help you, you know you know, hit the notification as well so that you know when I put new videos on that kind of stuff so yeah thanks for watching guys hope you all have a great day hope you all have a great night and well me and McCready will be seeing you all in the next video bye now